What's going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J. Hope you're all doing well. And I gotta say, man, this one took a lot of inner strength. A lot of uh, <laughs> emotions are kind of built into this video because, as you saw in the title, we're going to be talking about the only MMA match that actually made me break down and cry. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments, has there ever been a fight where you actually cried after it? <laughs> It ended. I know, man. It's kind of weird that I did cry, but you know what? I'm passionate. Or I wanted to ask you, are there any sporting events that after it was over, man, did you cry? I really would like to know, but I want to get you kind of built up into this simulation matchup as we're going to do uh, the rematch between GSP and Matt Sarah. I want to give you guys a whole background on my uh, love for the sport, my love for GSP, oh yeah. So I wanna take you back, and this is going to kinda of date me a little bit, and holy smokes, I was in university, man. University, enjoying life, living on my own, <laughs> in a one bedroom apartment, and I had a, I made a buddy. Can you believe it? I made a friend, but um, <laughs> my friend and I were huge into UFC, and back then, you know, it wasn't as mainstream, and people would gather who were fans in, like, huge amounts of people, you know, because they didn't have events almost every single weekend, and I believe it was in November when GSP UFC 65, he fought Matt Hughes, and my buddy Kyle and I decided to uh, get together, and we gathered other people as well, and we all put in five bucks, you know, paid for the uh, pay-per-view and we also got some um, <laughs> wings and pizza and we watched GSP beat Matt Hughes in UFC 65 and it was the craziest experience ever maybe that'll make for another video just seeing GSP win but then fast forwarding into April you know riding high after GSP's crazy win Kyle and I decided to get together again man just because we were both superstitious and we we're like, you know what, when we got together last time, GSP won, so why not get together again? And holy smokes, it was just a crazy experience, man, seeing GSP lose. It was so unbelievable to see just because it was not something that I could ever foresee happening that I actually thought the UFC was staged. And I went home just crying the blues, walking on my own, thinking like, how is this possible that George St. Pierre, you know, the supreme athlete, could lose to Matt Sarah, who won the Ultimate Fighter? And yeah, it made me <laughs> think about the UFC being like WWE, because remember, prior to that in February, Travis Luter, who won the Ultimate Fighter comeback series, almost pounded out Anderson Silva, um, but he decided to go for a dumb armbar and ended up uh, getting destroyed after. But it was absolutely crazy witnessing GSP lose um, in that stage. So what we're going to do here is we are going to simulate this fight. We're going to rewind the fight, hoping for another outcome. It's going to be GSP versus Matt Serra. We're going to take you guys back. 2007 UFC 69. Here we go, baby. Let's do it. Everybody, I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. It's been months in the making. Five rounds of action for nothing less than the most prestigious title in the sport today, the UFC Championship. As always, I'm here with my partner, Joe Rogan. Joe, this is the fight that everybody is talking about. Tonight's main event for the championship. I can't remember being this excited for a fight, Mike, and you know how pumped up I get for fights. We have a champion widely regarded as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport today. Then we have the challenger coming in here with so much momentum, a guy who, in my opinion, represents the biggest threat our champion has faced in his entire career. This is going to be an awesome fight. Well, you said it, partner. Great night of fights ahead of us, highlighted by what could be one of the greatest championship fights of all time. But before we get things started, let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. 
Three judges scored the bout, the bout duration, three five-minute rounds. Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. A respected master of Henzo Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, Matt Serra has also shown UFC fans that he's just as dangerous when he chooses to stand and bang. This former welterweight champion is a dynamo anywhere the fight takes place. One of the most dominant welterweights of all time, George Rush St. Pierre has proven that he has the ability to out-wrestle the best wrestlers, out-strike the best strikers, and most importantly, he finds a way to win fights. All right, here we go. And I wanted to tell you guys, leading up into this fight, you know, I follow GSP a lot online, and it was crazy. It just didn't seem like he was putting as much effort into his fights like he used to and even I remember at the weigh-ins he looked a lot smaller than what I remember him being you know like when GSP was in his early 20s in the UFC man especially inside uh, the welterweight division he was the biggest guy and seeing him on the scale he didn't look big at all and apparently he only trained like two weeks for this fight and I remember when the fight started it seemed too neutral on the feet, seeing Matt Serra throwing his hands. And I always remember Matt Serra's exhale when he was throwing his punches, going shh, shh, shh. It was um, a little too neutral for me, and I kept on screaming at the TV with my buddy Kyle and our, all our buddies there. I'm like, he's got to go for the takedown. GSP needs to go for the takedown. And he never did because, you know, George had so much success facing Matt Hughes on the feet that he thought he was indestructible on the feet. And um, just seeing him get wobbled, I remember Rogan saying, oh, that was a slip, that was a slip. But Joe's, uh, George, excuse me, his equilibrium was totally, you know, messed with and he couldn't balance himself on the feet. And Matt Sarah went and finished him. And it was just so sad, man, seeing my guy GSP lose. And like I said, I cried all the way home, man. It was crazy. And after the fight, George spoke to one of the sure Dog guys. And um, Sherdog always had a really good um, connection with GSP. And when they interviewed him, I believe it was that night, and it was so kind of GSP to speak to them after the fight. And George said, he's like, normally when I go to fight, <laughs> George is like, normally when I go to fight, I fight like there is no tomorrow. You know, I let everything go. And then he said, in that fight, I felt like I had to, something to do after the fight. <laughs> and he didn't fight like there was no tomorrow. It was crazy. I feel like, you know, the obligation that you have as champion takes a toll on you. And they always say you're not a real champion until you defend. And GSP really felt that in his first title defense against Matt Serra. And he also fed into, you know, his camp. Everybody saying how he's the best, you know, he's indestructible. He's going to destroy Matt Serra. And, you know, going into that fight, Matt Serra obviously winning the Ultimate Fighter, the comeback series. Matt Serra was a proven you know mma fighter with uh you know some good wins under his belt you know what i mean so like it's not like he was coming in there as a rookie he had wins over chris lytle um a tough fight against carl Prezian didn't win that one but um you know eves edwards he had some wins over uh tough fights against shoney carter he actually beat shoney carter i believe but then lost to him. remember that spitting back fist so he was coming in as a you know a seasoned veteran and gsp was still a young guy geez what was gsp then i think he was like only 24 years old but prior to this saint pierre was kicking butt and taking names beating guys like i'll never forget that jason mayhem miller fight his best fight ever for gsp in my opinion was the frank trigg fight um i'm not talking about fights after this but gsp was indestructible man Oh my gosh, just looking at this gives me jitters. And you know what's so funny? To this day, I won't go back and watch this fight. Isn't that crazy? But that just shows the true passion of a mixed martial arts fan or a, any fan of any fighter. I won't go back and watch the UFC 69. What was it called? Shootout? Something like that. I won't go and watch him lose. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see if GSP can get his redemption. But you know what's crazy? When he did the rematch in Montreal he was amazing and this is what he needed to do 
As Kenny Florian said, he needs to use the mixed bag of mixed martial arts. You like how I adopted that, that saying. But this is what GSP needed to do from the get-go. Because Matt Serra, although he, you know, on paper he's a, you know, black belt in jiu-jitsu. He, um, well, with, uh, with the Gracies, he never really used it offensively in his MMA matches. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't that crazy Damian Maya submission artist. So... GSP should have done that from the start. But right here in this simulation matchup, we're seeing GSP on his back. Oh, a nice little pass. Matt, don't break my heart again. And again, when I do these, it's one recording, one time, and whatever happens, happens. I really feel like it makes for more entertaining content. But look at this. What is this? You know, GSP was so good. What's going on here? Get up, man. He was so good at not taking too much damage while on his back. I think he only took some damage from Josh Koscheck in that fight um, in uh, UFC. What was it? UFC 74. But he's taking a pounding right here. What is going on, George? You got to get up. <laughs> Roll, man. Scramble. He's gotten to guard. Oh, every time he tries to push off, he's getting beat up. Oh, he's cut. Oh, but George going into. <laughs> oh, nice. He used to always say, my ape technique, put people down. Remember when he used to say that for all you hardcore fans? Oh, but Sarah is just throwing them around. How can you do this? How can you do this to a hardcore GSP fan? Could this ever happen? I don't think so, man. I, George is just so good. Um, his core strength is so good. I remember when GSP fought Carl Parisian. Um, Joe Rogan was like saying all these great things about Carl, how he's a judo specialist, how he's... Uh, Light years beyond GSP in grappling, and George out grappled him the whole fight. But right here, we need GSP. If you're a GSP fan, to start laying some offense, use that amazing top game. Oh, but he keeps on getting reversed. <laughs> and the thing is, with this game, I have nothing but love for UFC Undisputed 3. But my one knock is when you set these simulation matches up. The AI tends to reverse things way too much on the mat. But right here, that round was <laughs> all Matt Sarah. I remember when they fought the second time in Montreal. I remember it was in Montreal. Everybody was going crazy for George. You couldn't even hear the 10 cent clapper. You couldn't even hear Bruce Buffer when he was introducing them because it was so loud. Um, I was so nervous for that. And uh, man, I was shaking. It got to the point. And I'm just being totally honest with you guys. It got to the point that after that Matt Sarah loss and when GSP came back, beat Koscheck, and then he beat Hughes, then beat Sarah, I used to shake for every single GSP fight. Do you guys ever get that? Like while I was watching the fight, I know this is, you're going to think, you're going to call me Ricky J. Weirdo, but um, I would shake throughout the whole course of GSP fights. And I don't know what, <laughs> I was just like way into it. And I would hide it too when I would watch it, watch the fights with friends. But I would just shake. I was so nervous. Like my body would go in like panic mode. Here we go. Nice. And again, George had his hands down when he fought Matt Sarah. And the one thing that GSP said was when he got rocked against Sarah at UFC 69, he tried to, you know, get it right back instead of trying to cover up and when he did get dropped GSP did against Carlos Condit he learned from the Sarah fight and covered up and tried to just you know gather his wits and try to just recover nice look at that George was always so good at setting up that Superman punch with low kicks so you know he would use those leg kicks to set up the Superman punch because his opponent is thinking he's gonna go down low for for a leg kick and then he'll go up high with a nice little Superman punch to throw off your opponent or his opponent. And they always say the one punch that hurts the most or the one strike that hurts the most is the one that you don't see coming. And right here, what we're seeing right here, we're seeing GSP with a better round right here, utilizing the spinning back kick, spinning side kick. And <laughs> he stopped doing that. Oh, nice reversal. This is crazy. In this simulation matchup, we're seeing Matt Sarah have the advantage on the mat, and this is surprising to me. Let's see. Oh, great job by George. Oh, is this a submission? Oh, good sprawl. 
GSP getting into guard, and again, every time he tries to push off, Matt Sarah is getting right into side control, but I love that power reversal right there. Nice, he gets up. And here we go. This is where George needs to be careful. Matt Sarah has that amazing right hand from, <laughs> from Longo's camp. Oh, nice. And that's another thing, too, that GSP... Oh, and look at this. He's got his back right here. GSP was staying in the pocket for a little too much instead of fighting from the outside against Sarah, allowing Sarah to just use that great boxing, use that amazing power that he has, man, in his hands. But right here, man, this is... I, I could say that George is kind of... Oh, there we go. Superman punch with a nice little leg kick. I could say George is winning this round, but it's close. I would say for sure... You know, oh, nice takedown. Round one was Sarah's, but uh, it's very interesting. And I like, as you noticed, I'm pretty sure you noticed, I like doing these simulating, simulated match, matchups using UFC Undisputed 3. Just feel like it, uh, I don't know, it feels like more realistic. I don't know, man. Let me know if you agree with that. Oh, George is cut up. George is cut up. I wonder if Sarah's going to try to keep it on the feet here. We're into round three. <laughs> here we go. Oh, nice little slip right there. Looked like Matt was kind of slipping to the side. Here we go. All right, here we go. Third round. Let's see what happens. The other time that I actually cried after a sporting event was when the Toronto Raptors won the NBA title. Holy cow, it was crazy. Just because it wasn't uh, wasn't an easy road to the title. You know how it is, man. Passionate fan, that's it. Here we go. Round three. GSP needs to keep that guard up. And again, George, I could say, didn't have the best stand-up, but he was so good at planting the seed of takedowns, which forced you know opponents to kind of worry about that, and that opened up his stand-up game, and also his... His ability to be just so strong um, in the clinch, which allowed him... Oh, no! It allowed him to just be so comfortable in, in, in different areas, if that made any sense at all. Like, just being so confident that if he ever got clinched up, um, he was able to dictate the fight. <laughs> this is a crazy fight right here. George is kind of getting handled, which is kind of surprising. And look at this! Matt, oh, what crazy animations. Matt had his back. Looked like he was trying to get the hooks in. George got the reversal. And it just doesn't seem like any guy can secure a ground position right here. But George kicks him off. Looking to, oh, oh, nice. Looked like George was going to side control. Oh, that was nice too. George using his strength. Oh, now he's got the mount big bombs. But he just can't, oh, he can't seem to posture up. And Matt Sarah is doing a fantastic job. Oh, but both guys <laughs> taking turns <laughs> in full guard right here. George really trying to get this advantageous position in the mount. Sarah trying to turtle up right there. Doing a great job controlling GSP's posture. There we go. Body, body, head a la Randy Couture. Randy Couture was always so good at that. Staying in half guard. And going body, body, head. And look at this. Oh, going right into a Kimura. Oh. Uh, is he going to get it? Oh, nice reversal right there. Oh, GSP should have just kept on pounding, man. Should have just kept on pounding on him. Matt trying to see. Did you see that? Matt was trying to get into Mount. Oh, he gets it. Oh, now he's going for an arm bar. I remember when George fought Matt Hughes the first time. With like five seconds left in the first round, uh, Matt Hughes got George in an armbar and made him tap, man, right at the buzzer. And I always say, could have jo if George would have just hung on for a couple of seconds, man, I felt like he would have won the fight back in... Um, when was that fight? Jeez. It was a while back. UFC 50, the war of 04. <laughs> that was crazy. Because George was winning that round against Matt Hughes back in 2004. GSP was only, what, like 22, 23. It was kind of crazy that, you know, the UFC threw him right into a title shot after only having, you know, 
two fights inside the octagon, man. You know, I remember him fighting Carl Prezian, and then he knocked out Jay Huron. Remember that? That was crazy, that Jay Huron fight, just because Jay Huron's girlfriend or wife was screaming, Stop it, stop it, stop it. If you have a fight pass, go check it out. She was jumping up in the background, telling the referee to stop it, and GSP was just pounding on poor Jay Huron, and he got the uh, TKO stoppage. And it was crazy. It was Steve Mazagaiti that was the referee, and George was just laying elbows and punches into Jay Hirata and Mazagadi was standing there like, ah, oh, it's all good, nothing to see here, it's all good. And finally he stopped the fight. But yeah, after two fights, young guy, I don't think they would do that now, 22, 23 years old, getting a title shot. I felt like GSP was too young and not ready for that. But he even said, he goes, I couldn't even look Matthews in the eyes, I was too impressed. For me, I was fighting my idol. But remember, and then UFC 65, he looked right through him and he destroyed him and then he destroyed him again in their third fight but this is a crazy fight man this is nuts matt sarah is <laughs> i could just foresee him just breaking my heart yet again am i gonna cry on camera come on george ai george get your you know what together man get it together well, this is what matt sarah should have done a little bit more of in his career you know once he realized he was really good you know with his hands you know, he liked to stand and bang a lot. I think a little too much. Same thing happened with Josh Koscheck. Remember Koscheck, UFC Ultimate Fighter 1 contestant? Fought for the title, what, a few times. You know, he developed that crazy right hand and then didn't, you know, use his wrestling as much as I felt like he should um, later on in his career. Nice, good fade by GSP and then goes for a takedown. Remember Koscheck, he would use... You know, his wrestling when he would get in trouble, you know, most wrestlers do that. If they feel like they're in trouble, they shoot for a takedown. You know, I really feel like Koscheck should have just been more wrestling offensive, you know. Let me know if you agree with that, if you're a Koscheck fan. But right here, we're seeing Matt Serra. And I know this breaks my heart saying this, but he's having the better uh, <laughs> of the exchanges on the bat. Oh, nice reversal by George. Let your hands go, brother. Let your hands go. Oh, those are big bombs right there. Nice. Forcing George to get into full guard. And now he's up. But George has cuts everywhere. Oh, can't get the takedown. He's got to keep it on the feet. Oh, nice right hand by George. He's got to utilize that Superman punch. But Sarah's looking comfortable, man. Oh, big bomb. Oh, you don't see many kicks by Matt Sarah. That's another thing. You never really see a lot of... High kicks by Sarah. You just got to worry about those hands. George needs to switch things up. Oh, good job. Kind of denying that clinch right there. Yeah, George utilizing that jab. Oh, nice combo, man. We're going. Oh, is he going to get it? No. And George was known for his jab, man. When he first started out, people, you know, the scouting report on GSP was watch out for his, his jab, um, his wrestling. And his quickness, his strength, he basically had it all. But I remember when GSP, and I know I'm just, it's like a whole video on George. I remember when GSP fought John Fitch, and um, that was after he beat Matt Serra, avenged the loss. And everybody was saying, like, John Fitch is going to be the guy to stop George. And I remember Fitch was like, holy cow, he's just so fast, so quick. And that was another fantastic performance fight by GSP. I think that. It's one of his best performances as well. Beating John Fitch, you know, the bigger welterweight. And at that point in George's career, he never really fought guys that were that much bigger, you know? Like, he typically would be the bigger fighter in his matchup. So he was fighting a guy that was bigger than him. You know, you could say he was heavier than him. And, and GSP did so good at just being so good on the feet, not worrying too much about going for takedowns. He just, he was everywhere that fight. But here we go. Round five. Oh, good job by George. Shrugging off Matt Sarah. And GSP needs to let his hands go, man. There he goes. This GSP AI is being a little too tentative on the feet. He's got to let them go. Oh, and he keeps on going for that Joe Rogan <laughs> spinning sidekick to the body. You guys remember that? Joe Rogan. There's a video of Rogan teaching GSP about the spinning sidekick to the body. And Rogan has a mule kick, man. Holy cow. Joe Rogan, he could fight, man. It seems like, just looking at this, and I know this is just for fun, 
Seems like Matt Sarah, if this goes to a decision, it's got to be Matt Sarah that is winning this fight. But we'll look at George. Looks like he's kind of setting up. Kind of looked like he was setting up kind of like a Darce choke right there. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> he just got to turn to his right after, you know, grasping those hands together. But he does it. He's looking for the mount. All right, baby. Lay, lay the bombs down. Lay the bombs down. It's crazy how good um, the fighters are in this game at just controlling posture, eh? See? Oh, there he goes. Sarah's kind of blocking right there. No shots are being laid. And GSP was so methodical. I remember Dana White always saying that George St. Pierre just buzzsaws through guys. Very methodical, you know. Gets his position on the mat. And he's able to just maintain that position and, and pass. His ability to pass as he did right there. Look at that. Was so, so great. Some people would say he was boring. You know, you got to look at the fine details, man. Look at this butterfly guard right there. Holy cow. Oh, he gets gets the reversal. GSP looking cut up. What was uh, Goldberg's line that he'd always say? Um, battered, bruised, but not beaten. Here we go. Clinch. Is Matt Sarah going to go for a judo throw? Both guys fighting hard. George, nice. Turns him right up against the cage. Utilize and gets the underhook. Looking for the takedown. Oh, big knee. Another drop. Could this be over? And that's big time points by Matt Sarah right there. Oh, my gosh. I think Sarah's going to win a decision in this fantasy matchup. UFC 69. Oh, man. You know it's funny? Do you ever... Uh, here, let's see here. I want to say, do you ever ha have this kind of um, mentality or whatever where you watch a fight, you didn't like the outcome, but you'll watch it again and hoping that the outcome would change? <laughs> I know, I'm kind of weird like that. <laughs> Sometimes I'll go back and watch a fight hoping um, I, I see something different. <laughs> now right here, I'm hoping that the judges sway towards GSP, man. Because I don't want to be... Uh, I'm not going to cry. You know what I'm saying. But I want to be disappointed yet again. But it looks like Sarah's got it. Five rounds of war. Five rounds of grappling. Look at these cuts, man. On GSP. Fantastic game. Fantastic level of detail. But here we go. Wait. Dana. Dana's right behind Matt Sarah. Here we go. Whoa. What's this? Oh my gosh! GSP paid off the judges! Let me know in the comments if you agree with this decision. GSP <laughs> gets the victory at UFC 69. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at him, he can't even see. You know Dana White's not happy. Uh, the judges don't know what they're seeing. But there you have it people, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> your thoughts on this video and again if you made it this far thank you so much let me know any moment in your life where you actually cried after a fight or after any sporting event all right guys oh man even it could even be wwe as well but anyways i'm gonna end off this video as i knock over my water bottle have a great day this is ricky j love you man i'm out of here peace Are you intoxicated or something?